I just remember feeling sort of something in the upper right-hand side of my right breast and thinking, that's a lump. The second that I felt it, I knew what it was. I knew that it was a cancer because you know, I'm a doctor. I've worked in breast cancer research. You know, I've, I've seen enough patients to, to know what that feels like. And just thinking, you know, I'm not going to live to see my kids grow up. At that point, um, Sophia hadn't even started school, so I just, you know, that's when it all, it just felt like the ground had just swallowed me up. <laughs> so my first thought when it was confirmed that it was cancer was, OK, what, what do I need to do? You know, what am I going to, what am I going to tell the girls? There were so many thoughts. Um, and then, a little while later, Sophia asked me, if it meant that when she was a mummy, she was going to get cancer. Um, and I could answer that because, you know, I just, I couldn't, I had to try and like keep my emotions in. So I just gave them a big hug and said everyone was going to be okay. When I realised that I had cancer, I'd had my diagnosis through and it was triple negative breast cancer, which is an aggressive form of cancer that affects younger women. Um, obviously was looking to see how I could access the best and most up-to-date treatment. I found the personalised breast cancer programme on the clinical trials database, which is based over at Addenbrooke's and um, run by Cancer Research UK. And so I approached Professor Abrahams and asked if it would be possible to enter onto the trial. And she obviously very kindly agreed um, for, me to, for me to join. The personalised breast cancer programme is a way of looking at genetic information for each individual patient with breast cancer so that we're creating a barcode, if you like, that identifies that particular patient's changes and helps us to improve and tailor their treatments. For someone like Mei Lin, it will help her to understand whether there's any risk in terms of hereditary cancer for her children. It will help her to understand whether the treatment that she's receiving is appropriate for her particular type of breast cancer. And it will also help her to know that she's looked at every possible option to make her treatment as optimal as possible so that she can really enjoy the rest of her life free of the worry of cancer. There are a variety of different things that we can do that will help improve the accuracy of the treatment that we are giving a patient. And this type of work forms a part of the foundation of our new Cambridge Cancer Research Hospital, which focuses not only on clinical care, but on research. Cancer Research UK not only fund uh, the project itself, but also obviously provide uh, some of the infrastructure funding for the uh, Precision Breast Cancer Institute. Gifts and wills allow Cancer Research UK to invest and plan ahead for research that will help future generations. Under which was hiding a big bunny rabbit. During treatment, so my, my biggest hope was just I had to stay well and I had to be, you know, the best I could be for the girls and to make it as you know, as, as easy as it as it could be to sort of get through the experience. I wanted to share my story in support of Cancer Research UK to help raise funds for vital research because that is the only way that we're going to beat cancer as a disease. Leaving a gift in your will will help Cancer Research UK protect the future of the people that you love. One of my biggest fears was not seeing my girls grow up, not seeing my daughter start school. And thanks to research by Cancer Research UK, I was able to do that and I'm able to enjoy a future with them together.